Hello and welcome to the video on Power BI. In this video on Power BI, let us see the implementation of dynamic max state selection in Power BI. Let's start. I am pretty sure that many of you would have had requirements where your user would have asked you to select the latest date that is present in your system. But of course, you would have ended up with that's not available in Power BI and you would have given them a slicer like this which will not reflect the latest date addition. That is, suppose a new date gets added to this modified date column where slicer is not going to automatically select that date. Instead, it is going to be kept selected on 21-7-2008. Let's see how we solve this. <coughs> so, for this purpose, all you need is an additional column which is a max date column. This max date column should always have the maximum date in the model present in it. So, as you can see from here, this modified date column is 31-7-2008 and my max date is also 31-7-2008. Suppose I am changing the selection to 27-7-2008. So, as you can see, as you can see, my modified date gets changed to 27-7-2008 while my max date continues to show 31-7-2008. So, this is the most basic requirement for implementing the dynamic max date selection. So now that we have the max, max date already present, we are going to create one more column. So this column we are going to name as date slicer. The reason I'm naming it like this is because I'm going to use it in a date slicer. That's a very pretty simple reason, right? So in this column, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compare my modified date with my max date. I am saying if this result set is going to be true, if this result set is going to be true, just give my output as most recent date. Otherwise, give my modified date as my output. Here lies the trick. So your modified date is a date and your most recent date is a text. Now that if I am going to make it right, it is going to give me an error saying that Expressions that yield variant data type cannot be used to define calculated columns. It means a calculated column cannot have things of different data types in it. So to solve this, I'm just going to add a space to this modified date. Now that this looks fine, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this get slicer as my get slicer as my actual slicer. So now that it is sorted in a descending order, you can see the most recent date available in this. I'll just include a card to this report to show what is the actual date that is getting selected on every selection of the date slicer. So by default, this card is going to show me the earliest modified date. Now that I make a selection to most recent date, now that I make a selection to the most recent date, my card also shows me 317-2018. As I make my selection to most recent date in the date slicer, my card is going to show me 317-2008. And you can also see the data has got filtered for 317-2008. Now I make a selection to a different date, my card is going to reflect that and my data as well. So now we don't require this slicer anymore. As you can see from this implementation, Tomorrow, if some new date is going to get added to this, your most recent date is going to hold that date and your 317-2008 is going to go back to the normal dates. That's all in this video on Power BI. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe for more videos.